Yes, yes, yo, it's your boy Hisam Producer and you're welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel, just know everything I'm going to be doing on this channel is going to be strictly educative and motivational because, yep, for so long I've been looking for a channel that does stuff like this and you know what it is? I'm going to be doing great stuff on this channel. So I'm going to be talking about my workspace because I just literally got an upgrade of my stuff. And if you know you want to make content like me, make sure you stick around to watch what I use and how you can get stuff like that because this video is totally going to be a breakdown of my little workspace yep you can see it's still new and a little bit cranky but yep that's what it is so yeah welcome to this channel make sure you click on the subscribe to see more videos like this and i just got a new sony alpha ev10 so yeah i like the way the quality is and then like this light right here is my key lights it's going to be serving a lot if you are new to this channel like i say make sure you click on subscribe so let's get right into the video straight up so for so long my biggest problem have been the lighting system you see the way i'm looking all clean and cinematic it's all big thanks to this my godox 100d and it's my key lights it lightens me up and makes me look this crisp and clean and here we have this small little light that serves as a rim light or fill light i'm not really a videographer but yeah this one comes this way so it can clear out the shadows on this side and yeah i just tried a lot and figured that this is the perfect way to get me all lit up and it's been working ever since so i have a tripod here and this one is a the f350 yep i got this one for around 25k that's in naira but in dollar that's somewhat around 35 to 40 dollars you can get it in your camera store and here we have the little tripods this one is for my canon i used to use a canon but now i'm back to sony so i don't really use this guy but it's a tripod you can use it for your mobile devices and your cameras and here's the one i use for my tiktok live stream anytime i want to go live on tiktok or instagram this is the big guy that does all that so over here we have this my chair it got broken for some reason i don't know how come but yeah i need to get it fixed or just get a replacement come closer let's go this way so here too i have a tripod for going live but this one is a little bit small and i can still use this one as a gimbal in case i want to vlog or do something with my mobile device and yeah this costs somewhat around 5k that's in naira and like five like six to ten dollars in usd and here is my little bag, my camera bag. It's so fitted. You see, I can use this to do a lot. I can hang it up, can twist and put it this way. So over here we have, we have my little flower to just give this place a little bit of glow to make it shine and look crisp. And I won't fix this up yet, but this is like, um, is it a hexagon or what, what should I call it? And I got this one from a store online. It cost me somewhat around 30k in naira and yeah it's just going to lit up this place and for my speakers right here i have the yamaha hs5 and it's really crisp i use it to make my beats just and then listen to feedbacks when i'm editing and making videos and over here we have my come closer this is my show um mv7 pro mics for live stream and i also use it to make my podcast type contents on tiktok and instagram and i use a macbook 2019 and this system has been with me for some time it's still looking clean and crisp and most times i just use this to handle to make sure that like my laptop is up top so it doesn't get hot and for my table come close this way i use the audio technica headsets these headsets have been with me for some time this is the m50s ath and i just got a lamp i don't know for some reason it's oh it's not working probably the bulb got burnt or something but yeah this is a new lamp for my study in case i want to read or do something crazy yeah and then here is my display my 50 inch high sense ultra 4k i use it for like seeing things big screen and then sometimes i play video games or watch movies so yeah that's basically the use for that one and here's a light i got from a place called sahad it's looking clean and it's supposed to like segment me from the background when i'm making a talking head videos like the one you see on tiktok and instagram and basically that's what it is and this guy if you've been with me for some time you should know this big guy right here check is the microphone still working i so this big guy right here this is a harman cardon um speaker and i've been rocking it for quite a few months now it's really serving and i love it so on my table right here come close we have a violin toy that i got it reminds me of the grammy someday i'm gonna get a grammy and 
this is a reminder for me that I deserve to get myself some type of award. And here we have this little alarm clock. You can come come closer to show this clock. This clock just shows me the time, so I stay up to date and see what's going on. So over here we have this little light. Um, I don't know what their name is because when I bought it, the brand did not really write anything on top. It's just this little tiny light, just to add some t some sort of glow to my setup. And I have this Iron Man toy. Yeah, this guy right here. I really love this toy and. Yeah, I'm going to get more toy collections to make my setup look lit and clean and and modern. So this is my sports car. I haven't driven this, but I know it definitely works and I'll find a remote and in one video, maybe I'll just drive this around town. <laughs> so yeah, and I got these little tiny flowers. They're not real, they're aesthetics and they cost at around like $2 each. Not really expensive and you can get it for your setup so it can look crisp and clean. And here is my director plaque. I don't know what they call it, but I call it director plaque. It just serves as, a, as an aesthetic feel for my setup. And right here, we have this guy. It's like um, a general purpose flower, just to add beauty to this place. And overall, I have um, a Dumbo here, just to get the connection for the HDMI right here, and to get the feel of everything on my screen. But I'm not really concerned about the internal side of the video for this video i'm just going to be showing you my workspace and you can just turn this way this place is like some sort of a reserve where i keep my stuff yep just my accessories my toys like i use this ones to make videos look it's not real it's a toy pew 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 <laughs> yeah so here's my keyboard the alexis v25 midi keyboard it's very easy to use portable and little and small and yeah basically i have a stand here this one is for holding my phone in case i'm going live or i'm trying to do something and i don't want to get distracted but i, I need to see stuff on my phone i use this guy right here there's a little bit of poor cable management here but yeah like i said this is still new and there's nothing much to see about it so that's, that's it. If you're a content creator and you really look forward to getting things done, make sure you spend a reasonable amount on your stuff. That way, everything looks more organized, clean, and you get stuff done easily, faster, and a little bit more organized. Yeah, like I said. And on this channel, I look forward to teaching you guys a lot. So stick around and make sure you stay tuned because there's a lot that's coming. And lest I forget, on the walls here, I have my comic all stuck there these are like um from super strikers one of my all-time favorites and yeah i really love super strikers then on the wall right here these are some of my to-do lists my sticky notes but you can take it off i don't want them to see much of what i'm thinking and planning but yeah guys i just hope you guys get a lot from this video and let me just take you to a final side of my setup or not really the final side but like a second side where I get dressed up and get all my clothes sorted. I have um, a closet, a mini closet where I get the clothes arranged because if, before you make a video, you need to make sure everything is in order. So yeah, check it out. Let's go. So for those of you asking what I use to edit my stuff, I use Premiere Pro, CapCut, and I use DaVinci Resolve. Depends on what the mood is. So um, this is like my, this is my Premiere Pro. This is a timeline of one of the videos I edited recently. This is how it looks. I just go inside, get the videos to my hard drive. This is my little hard drive right here and send it to my laptop and chop it off. I'll make a video tutorial on how that works, but for now, we're just going to stick to the basics, like just showing you I use Premiere Pro, CapCut, and all that stuff. So stick around to this channel to see more like that because that's the main purpose of this channel. This channel is going to teach you a lot. It's not only just production stuff every time, production, production. It's going to be a lot. When I say a lot, I mean I know how to edit videos, shoot, and all that stuff. So I'm going to be sharing my own personal ideas on how these things work. So if you are new to this channel, click on the subscribe and turn on post notification because this is the place for every utility you need as a 
creative. And yeah, my name is Hisan Producer. If you are new to this channel, you're welcome. Big shout out to the man behind the camera, my man, Peter. And yeah, I'll be dropping a lot of stuff in the description so you can check it out. My beats, my videos, and my channels. You can, you can just go there, check stuff. So yeah, nice having you in this video. And that's all for now. Welcome to my setup. Let's go.